Hello everyone, welcome to welcome back to my channel, Book Time with Elvis, with me, Mark. I uh, hope so much you're doing very well. Uh, and I'll ha I do have a tag video for you today. I thought, why not? You know, I've been tagged in, I think, three today, maybe from yesterday uh, as well. But uh, so I thought it's time I, I try to get back on track. So uh, I picked a nice one. Well, they're all nice, of course, but I picked, uh, let's say, an easier one to do uh, for me on the hop without uh, having to, you know, get a load of books out. And this is the uh, Tell Me the Truth tag, uh, created by the wonderful Shannon from Shannon's Bookish, Bookish Musings and Music. Uh, if you haven't checked her channel out, you should do so. Um, and I was tagged by the wonderful, fantastic Gina Stanier of Gina Stanier Books. Uh, she very kindly tagged me along with a slew of other fantastic uh, booktubers as well. So that was most kind of her. There are seven prompts to this. And it's a wonderful tag because it's uh, probably designed to get people into trouble, really, uh, because they have to tell the truth, <laughs> you know, and sometimes that can be uh, hurtful, <laughs> maybe. So let's get started then. Prompt number one. Do your friends, family, co-workers know about your booktube channel? And if so, do they watch? Yes, pretty much everyone knows about it uh, because I wanted some subscribers. So, of course, I told people. I mean, I'm not fussed about having, you know, tens of thousands, but I did want to be kind of respectable. So I told uh, as many people uh, as I could who I thought would be receptive to the idea, at least, uh, of checking me out. Of course, people like my mother and sister or whatever, that was a uh, you know, compulsory subscription <laughs> from them. Um, I'm not sure my father's subscribed, though. Uh, he wasn't sure himself the other day. I'm pretty sure I did it for him when he was last visiting me. But, uh, you know, these things can uh, can drop off. My co-workers, yes, most of them know. And even some of the kids at school know uh, because... You know, I need, I need, uh, I need bums on seats, as it were. So I said to them, "Look, subscribe to me, or else." <laughs> That's your homework. Extra English practice. Go home and watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many of my actual friends know. Maybe. I mean, a few really close ones do. Um, I didn't really, and I think I shared a video once to Facebook, and. Um, you know, it depends, I suppose, who saw that and whether they chose to subscribe or not. Uh, but I haven't, like, gone on Facebook and said, you know, chums, friends, you know, friends, Facebook buddies, countrymen, lend me your subscriptions, come and join my booktube channel. Uh, so I don't know. I don't think I have too many, like, real world friends uh, that have subscribed to me. Uh, whether they know or not, I don't know. Maybe they chose not to. Who knows? So, do they watch? Yes, my mum definitely watches most of them. And she's subscribed to a few of uh, the booktubers that I'm uh, always talking about as well. Because, you know, I've built relationships with over the course of the two years. Two years? It's coming up. Two years next month. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Um, I'm not sure how often... You know, I, I have a co-worker who watches some of my videos because he'll mention it. But, you know, people have other things to do and have lives. And I suppose they can't spend all their time watching me. I mean, especially if you happen to be my friend or my family or my co-worker, you probably see enough of me in real life without wanting to go home and watch me on your television as well. Right. So I think that's understandable. Number two, when watching booktube videos, do you ever speed them up to save time? Um, No except for my own. <laughs> so, I think because I know, I don't like how I sound. So when I watch my uh, videos back, I often speed them up. And I, I quite like how I sound sped up. I don't mean like super sped up, like a Mickey Mouse kind of voice. I think it's like one and a half times speed. If you try it, you know, put me up to one and a half times speed or if it doesn't make a big difference, try two times speed. And I think you'll be impressed. I actually sound, at least I think so, I sound pretty good. And more intelligent because there are less kind of pauses and ums and ahs and that kind of stuff. Because I'm not one who edits my video to edit those things out. Because if I'm having a conversation with you, I'm not editing out all the you knows and 
Um, um, so I don't know. I don't know how much it really bothers people. Uh, it doesn't bother me when I see it. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so no, I don't, I don't think I really speed people up. I do speed up, and this is uh, going to upset people, I do often speed up the voice messages, though. Uh, things like Voxer uh, or voice messages on um, WhatsApp. I tend to have those at least at one and a half times speed. Why, I don't know. I don't notice that it distorts it and it's just a little bit faster. That, that I do do. So if you're friends with me on Voxer... Apologies. Uh, it's uh, it's just because I want to, you know, keep the conversation going a bit faster, right? Um, let's see. Number three. Do you watch videos from all the booktubers you subscribe to? All of their videos or just some? Well, you know, it's all about best intentions and that kind of thing, isn't it? Um, I think I subscribe to mostly everybody who subscribes to me. There may be a few that fall through the net as the channel gets bigger or if I'd gone away for a little bit and had some extra subscribers. Of course, those subscribers who keep themselves private, I don't know who they are anyway, so I can't uh, subscribe to them. But if you're a public subscriber, then chances are I have subscribed back to you. Although, if you don't have a channel, I might not because then you might think it's weird, like, why am I subscribing to you if you haven't got any videos? Uh, so, yeah, uh, I try to. With regards to watching every video of people who subscribe, uh, that I'm subscribed to, I think that's impossible, isn't it? Because I'm, you know, I don't know, 900 and something subscribers. Uh, maybe, maybe I've broken the magic thousand by the time this goes out, or maybe I broke it and then... Uh, what usually happens probably <laughs> is I'll be under it again, so I'm not going to mention it and get too excited about it. But uh, I think I, tr I I will try. I mean, I'll try to watch them. Now, of course, sometimes the 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 content itself or the 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 title of the video will draw me in more than others. If it's a, a book or something, I'm not particularly interested in as much as I, you know, love you or whatever. I might not watch it if I've got something else to watch, which is. Uh, where you know I can't, I can't watch a hundred YouTube videos in a day, and the problem with it, the amount of I think it's seven hundred thousand hours of YouTube videos are uploaded each day. So if you think about it, even in my own subscription list, it's hard to remember to go back unless you start or unless you specifically click on something to watch later. I mean, I miss things for sure. I've had other people tell me, hey, did you see so-and-so's video about it? I was like, no. And then sometimes I do feel that the sometimes not everything appears in my feed, even though I am subscribed to them. I'm, I'm, I'm never really sure what's going on. But certainly if the topic interests me, I'll definitely watch it. Um, now, conversely, of course, sometimes the booktuber themselves interests me, so I will watch them to be supportive. However... Again, if they are going to be talking about, I don't know, some wizards who, um, I don't know, decide to, uh, what, some wizards who take up ice hockey and play against dragons or something, you know, that might not be something that draws me in, so I may give that a miss. Uh, I suppose it just depends really on my on my mood. Um, now, number... Oh, okay, I see number four is... It's kind of similar, I suppose, number four. This is everyone, not just booktubers, who subscribes to you or only channels you really want to see. Do you watch, subscribe to everyone who subscribes to you or only channels you really want to see? Well, I think the answer is similar uh, as to the preceding question there. Um, so... Yeah, again, I'll make the effort. I mean, I don't mind if someone who subscribes to me has a channel and it's nothing to do with books. And it depends also on the size of the channel. I mean, if the person has... I, why they would subscribe to me anyway, but like if they have, you know, 20,000 subs uh, and they are a channel about... Um, 
what <laughs> crocheting uh i probably wouldn't subscribe because you know i'd be flattered that they chose to watch me but i might not subscribe because i don't really need a load of videos about crocheting in my feed uh although maybe i will one day i don't know so in that instance i might not however if they were a small crocheting channel just getting started and they subscribed to me and i saw they had i don't know 100 subscribers then yeah i would probably subscribe uh until you know i ended up with too many crochet videos or whatever i'm yeah i'm a nice guy <laughs> uh number five do you watch or subscribe to booktubers based more on content or personality um there's a big element of personality when it comes to watching the booktubers uh, that I have uh, that I am already subscribed to, uh, because if I've got to know them through Voxer or some other reading event that we've done together, then I shall definitely uh, make more of an effort to watch their videos, uh, because one, they might quiz me on it, of course. You know, <laughs> what did you think of my video? I'd be like, oh, yeah, 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 it was good. What was it about? You know. Um, so no, I will, I will definitely. Do that when it comes to subscription uh i don't know i think it's a definitely a mix for me there it's always hard to tell I, i've had some experiences with first impressions uh where i saw somebody who i thought you know this person's amazing they're great and then you know six months down the line i was like oh gosh you know can't stand to listen to them anymore which is horrible but i'm sure it happens i'm sure people dislike listening to me as well now after they got to know me. But you know, so the first impressions can be wrong. So you jump in, subscribe to them and think, yeah, I'm gonna support them, yeah, yeah. And then you think, oh no, why do I do it? They're never off, you know, they're always bombarding my um, feed and it's like, oh, you know, you've helped create a monster. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think until I get to know the person and really know their personality, I mean, some people will draw you in immediately. You know, you'll watch it and think, yeah, that's great. And then later you might reevaluate the situation or not. That's fine. But definitely people I've met. So, for example, in Historathon, maybe I wasn't subscribed to everybody uh, before who was doing that. But their content naturally interests me. So I, didn't, I just didn't know about their channels. You know, it's a big place, really. So I didn't, uh, I didn't subscribe to them before. But as I got to know them and, and realized, of course, they're, they're, especially their content, in this case, drew me in uh, because, you know, something like, uh, unfortunately, something like history and history channels, it can be exciting or it can be boring, but the content is interesting. So the personality, I don't think it's necessarily the important thing. In, and in a long winded way, I'm saying it's a mix of the two, both personality and content. Number six. Do you listen to booktube videos while doing other things or do you sit and watch the video? Again, it depends. If the person is not on screen, I don't feel guilty about like pottering around doing something, having it on in the background. Um, if it's somebody that I particularly like, I will sit down and, and, and watch them and kind of imagine that, you know, we're having a face-to-face well, probably I suppose I'm getting a lecture, but, you know, try to imagine it's some kind of uh, discussion. Uh, but it's also nice. It's nice to look at things. It's always nice to sit and look and see. I mean, my background doesn't change that much. I mean, some people will probably say that something wrong with the tree. I don't know exactly. I know I've tried different things like not watering it too much, uh, watering it more, and then moving where I put the water. And it is better. However, that one leaf or two leaves there, but I noticed the person I got it from has cut the brown off the leaves where I, uh, before I had it, so anyway, sorry, I digress again, oh my goodness, I wonder how many of you are still watching by this point, eh? Um, so generally I sit down and, and watch it, because I like to be nosy, I love the reading vlogs, I love looking at people's backgrounds, seeing what books they've got out there, and what, I, unfortunately I put it a bit further away, but I promise you, once I've got my house built and everything done it's going to be much more bookish background shall we say so there we go i mean i probably made a right hash of this but so you know my apologies both to shannon and gina but i you know i did my best i'm trying to fit this in literally between lessons and i've got to go out in a minute with uh, with dear old elvis uh, well, he's not that old is he 
He's only five. So dear young Elvis. But number seven, <coughs> tag some booktubers. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm not sure uh, exactly if they've been tagged or not, but I'm going to tag three of the usual suspects when it comes to me tagging people, and that's Vin from Revenant Reads, Carrie from Very Literary Carrie, and Sean D. Stanfast from the channel Sean D. Stanfast. But I'm also going to tag three new booktubers to me. Uh, one of them, well, one of them I believe has just got over 100 subscribers, and that's uh, Mrs. Pizza Reads. And the other two certainly deserve to have more subscribers. They're, I believe, around the 30-something mark. So if you're feeling kind, you should definitely click the links below and check them out and give them a subscription. I'm sure they will be thrilled. Uh, one is Electra from Spoonful of Hige. I hope I've said that right. Uh, Scandinavian booktuber, but she does all her booktube videos in English, and she seems a charming uh, I don't, I don't know if I can say things these days. Uh, she's a charming young woman without getting in trouble, but you know what I mean. And the other is Alex Unabridged, who I have uh, shouted out in my community tab before. And uh, he seems a really nice guy and uh, also does, you know, some nice videos and deserves your support, I think. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching the Tell Me The Truth tag created by Shannon at Bookish Musings and Music, and I wish you all a fantastic day. Until next time, bye for now.